the life of Marilyn Monroe is one of Hollywood's most enduring, intriguing and ultimately tragic stories, and it serves as the basis for Netflix's film Blonde in which Anita Armas stars as the beloved screen siren. Monroe passed away at age 36 in 1962, so those unfamiliar with the Some Like It Hot Stars tale will be wondering how Marilyn Monroe died. Born Norma Jean Morganson in 1926, Monroe shot to fame in 1953 and she would soon cement herself as the comedic blonde bombshell. She was one of the world's first true sex symbols, becoming an icon for a time of sexual revolution between the 1950s and 60s. But beneath her confident on-screen facade was a deeply sensitive person whom the tabloids and film executives exploited and objectified for their own personal gain, a part of her life blonde, based on Joyce Carol Oates' book off the same name, explores extensively. Upon her death, French poet and avant-garde filmmaker Jean Cocteau commented, Marilyn Monroe's tragic death should serve as a terrible lesson to all those, whose chief occupation consists of spying on and tormenting film stars, he said, the New York Times reported in 1962. Some of these reporters even spied on her from helicopters hovering over her house. That is scandalous. This is the tragic story of how Marilyn Monroe died. Image, courtesy of Echo. Blonde by Joyce Carol Oates How did Marilyn Monroe die? How did Marilyn Monroe die? Her autopsy revealed a lethal dose of barbiturates, A, K, A. Sleeping pills, in her system. Her housekeeper Eunice Murray had been staying overnight at Monroe's home in Brentwood, Los Angeles, on the night Monroe passed away. The housekeeper is said to have awoken at 3 a.m. sensing something was wrong and, noticing a light on in Monroe's bedroom, she tried to enter but the door was either blocked or locked. Murray called the star's L.A. psychiatrist, Dr. Ralph Greenson, who broke into Monroe's bedroom through the window and found the star unresponsive in her bed. At 3. 50 a.m., Monroe's doctor arrived and pronounced her dead at the scene. In the months leading up to her death, Monroe's mental health had spiraled. Her affair with President, John F. Kennedy was seemingly over and his treatment of her turned chilly, her marriage to the acclaimed playwright Arthur Miller was two and two films, Let's Make Love and The Misfits were box officers busts. In 1960, Monroe's New York-based psychiatrist, Dr. Marianne Chris, persuaded her to enter the Payne Whitney Psychiatric Clinic, 